This week, we're going to preview trade estimates for Friday's USDA grain stocks and acreage reports. We're also going to take a look at updated crop conditions and wrap things up with a look at the short-term weather forecast. Hi, this is Brian Bastine with Advanced Trading. Let's talk about the corn market. We've moved into the final week of June here, and this market remains historically volatile. Let's start out this week looking at trade estimates for Friday's USDA grain stocks and acreage reports. Again, there's two reports out on Friday, June 30th. The first we're going to highlight here is the acreage report. For corn, the trade's looking for not much change, only a slight decline from the estimate back in March of 92 million acres. A uh, 2 million acre range there. Keep an eye Friday if that number falls within that range. And the grain stocks report will also come out. The average estimate is 4.255 billion bushels. A little bit wider range there. Again, keep an eye out for anything that falls outside that range or near the end, upper end or lower end. Now we looked at this slide last week here, but it bears repeating. There have been many years here, not every year, but many years here, where the combination of the release of these reports and weather uncertainty has led to considerable price volatility, both to the upside and to the downside, following the release of these reports. Here's a critical message. Price prediction is impossible. We don't know what the weather is going to do, and of course we don't know what these reports are going to say. We do know, though, that price volatility is, is possible, and there are tools available to manage price volatility. That's why we strongly encourage you to work closely with your trusted risk management advisor to have your positions in place prior to the release of these reports. Let's now shift gears and focus on crop condition ratings. Let's take a look at our map. Now again, we saw a, another decline this week, 5% in good to excellent, down to 50% good to excellent nationwide. At this time last year, 67% of the crop was rated good to excellent. Now let's take a look at our aggregate crop condition index. This week we've added 2012 to the chart. Actually here, as of late June, the index for 2023 is slightly below 2012. We are not saying that this is going to be a repeat of 2012, only highlighting that at this point in time, crop condition ratings are slightly worse than they were at this time in 2012. Let's shift gears now and focus on the short-term weather. Our slides this week, as usual, are courtesy of T-Storm Weather. We're going to start out this week looking at a map of 30-day precip as a proxy for subsoil moisture. You can see there's a lot of red on this map here. Uh, the, the wings of the Corn Belt, if you will, far western Corn Belt, and even in the eastern Corn Belt have had more moisture, but across the heart of the Corn Belt, quite dry. Let's now look at the short-term forecast. We're starting out here looking at temperatures into this weekend, specifically Wednesday through Saturday. You can see the heaviest, or I beg your pardon, the highest temperatures are going to be in the south. They're going to work their way up into the Midwest and parts of Illinois and Indiana through Saturday. Now let's move into the precip. We're looking at the heaviest amounts in the west there, between three quarters of a one and a half inches. As you move further east here, we're looking at a possibility of a half inch to an inch. Now let's shift gears into next week, July 4th through the 10th. Heaviest precip is forecast in the mid-south at the moment. Now let's quantify things over the next two weeks. If we're looking at our map here, you can see there's quite a bit of green on this map. Again, this is just a forecast, the GFS Ensemble forecast. Uh, that would be a welcome change across the heart of the Corn Belt. Let's quantify that via numbers here. We're looking at 55% of the corn experiencing near normal precip over the next 14 days. As we tape here on Tuesday, that's helped pressure the market. Let's wrap things up this week looking at long-term trends in December corn futures. A December corn here as we tape on Tuesday again is trading near 565 a bushel. That's dropped off from where it was, but again, quite a bit of, of price volatility, potential for price volatility as you can see from mid-June all the way into harvest. Strongly encourage you to continue to defend your balance sheet. Now, if you'd like more information, please feel free to contact us at 800-664-2321. We'll put you in contact with our risk management consultants who will be happy to visit with you at your convenience. And remember, we upload every Wednesday. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss an upload. And remember, on Friday, June 30th, we'll have a live YouTube update at 11.20 Central Time following the release of the USDA reports. Thanks a lot. Have a good week.